That's right. We will slay the dragon for you. And you know what? That's what ministry does. We take up our authority in Christ Jesus, and we stand on the devil, and we trample over him. As, as the word tells us to trample over serpents and scorpions and over yes. all of the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You know what? You have to take up your authority in Christ Jesus. We can read it, but unless you take it up, and you know what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to take on a form in this world. It's going to take on a form. It's going to take up a form of, uh, of an attack against you just like this morning that's right okay yes. now i'm awake Ooh. amen i'm awake it's the first time yes. i've been awake in months amen amen okay guys I i'm so okay. sorry i'm sorry i'm yeah. just okay. right. <laughs> i feel like i have something stuck in my throat seriously so um well you shouldn't have the chocolate so <laughs> you can chocolate in the morning with eva yeah. <laughs> all right guys Prayers for our children. Guys, this is such an important message. Um, please share this with somebody um, because we're going to be praying for your children, mm -hmm. our children, our families. Um, this um, song, Slay the Dragon, was based on, it's, well, it's all based on uh, a, a real, real stories of our lives and um, our own, own personal worship to God. And uh, what happened was is that I had a dream about our daughter, and I've shared this before, um, and I could see us walking down a corridor, and we were um, arm in arm. We were actually arm in arm. And um, I actually felt something get in between, like, oh. <laughs> don't get scared. Scared, scared. Um, I'd see, I, I felt a hand and a fingers pushing me away from her you know so um and i could just i could just i i see it i could feel it it was it was something invisible pushing me away and getting in between us so that's really where the song came from and and so we're fighting guys for our children you know we're not like other church leaders who say oh my children are serving the lord and they're you Smoke know out, yeah yeah and you know what i'm saying so we're going to be honest um got to be honest we're going to be honest and that's why we want to do this you know because not all um let me just say this children of believers are, are serving god not yet ronica we as human <laughs> beings right go through all kinds of junk Jesus yeah. went through all kinds of stuff. Paul, the disciples, the yeah. apostles, they all went on different, <laughs> different stuff. But the one thing that they were, this is what churches don't do. They're not transparent. What you see is not what you get. I promise you, we've been there. Not everybody, yeah. Yeah. but I'm, I'm, I promise you, most of the places that we tended, it was a facade. It was a... It was a show. It was the women. This is this guy looked a certain way up there, but then when you got off, there was no transparency in the ministry. If we're not transparent, if we're not real, then you know what? We should just cl shut up. I mean, um, close up shop and end and, it. You know, the Bible talks about spiritual warfare that we fight not against flesh and blood. So, guys, this is not a battle with your children. This is not a battle with people. This is a battle with demons. Okay? And so we must learn how to wrestle through spiritual means. And so this is what we're doing today. Um, so we're not about to give up our families to the devil. Um, we did a message um, some years ago, and, it's, and it's, it was called No Devil, You Can't Have My Family. And that's the same way that we feel today. Satan, you cannot have my family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay? So I want to say this, that there is an actual attack on the family. Aleister Crowley, who was a Satanist and a black magician, um, and the person 
uh, who has most influenced the <coughs> entertainment industry, all of the entertainment industry, and that, and that includes Christian and gospel. He said the family is public enemy number one. Okay? So he's the biggest influence and the patron saint, if you will, of the entertainment industry. Okay? Mm. And that's the force. That's the antichrist spirit that is coming out of all entertainment. So Crowley said, horrid word, family. Family is a horrid word. Mm. Alice Bailey, she was the foremost prophetess of the new age and a theosophist, which we've talked about her many times here, wrote in her 10 point charter um, to, because she wanted to destroy, she had a plan to destroy, and she's done very well, um, plan to destroy Christian tradition to usher in the new world order. And her point number three was destroy the Judeo-Christian family mm. structure and the traditional Christian family structure. Destroy the family. She said, liberate the people from the confines of this structure. It is oppressive and the family is the core of the nation. If you can break the family, you break the nation. And our nation is broken. Our nation is oh, yeah. weakened. Yep by this angel of light, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. So there is a definite agenda that Satan has planned to destroy the family in, in, along with our Christian faith. So we yeah. gotta realize I mean, where this comes from. Even what's happened in, in the uh, electoral votes in November, uh, I guess the midterm or whatever they call it, in politics, in politics, you know, they claim that they care about your family. They don't care about your family. I, pr I promise you, it's entertainment. It's another form of entertainment. It's no different than the music industry that's absolutely destructive on every level. And it's, it's very sad that we have come to accepting certain things that we call reality, and it's not. It's it's real. I, I get a kick out of that. What's it? The, 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 the housewives of of Atlanta, all those reality shows, like the gospel people had it, Mary Mary had one, the reality, but it's they're not- They're supposed to be reality, but they're all scripted. Right, those it's not reality. all scripted. Yeah, it's not reality Meaning, at all. Yeah. Okay, and if it, if it is reality for Mary Mary, they need to repent. Pushing an agenda, always, 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 always. always. Again, Alistair Crowley, he is the driving force uh, of ideals of um, of the entertainment industry and Jay Z wears "Do What Thou Wilt." He's a follower of Aleister Crowley. Oh, and by the way, T D. Jakes just signed so, with Jay Z. Okay, so yeah. you signed with yeah. a Satanist, and you have a church. Are you kidding me? Really? People, wake up! Wake up from these imposters, and we're going to continue to expose them as the word as the word tells us to. Okay, so sorry. Here, so here are go, the promises for our children. We're talking about okay, promises. I understand. We're talking about praying for our children. Promises for our children. Okay, but honey, yeah. but these things affect our yes, children. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so. Absolutely. Promises for our children. Um, Psalm 103, 17 and 18. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting, I love this, from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, mm. to them as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Mm. So there is a promise, okay, from the, the mercy of the Lord, force of all, the mercy of the Lord, everlasting to everlasting, Upon them that fear him, his righteousness unto children's children. So this is supposed to be passed down, okay? So we thank you, God, for that. We thank you. Guys, I want to fill you with faith because we're going to pray. That's good. Okay? 1 Corinthians seven fourteen. I was looking for this scripture, and I finally found it. For the unbelieving husband, this is talking about marriage, but then it talks about children, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Mm. Else, your children, else were your children 
unclean, else were your children would be unclean, but now they are holy. So holy here, I, I believe, is meaning set apart for God yeah. to be um, exclusively his. So our children, if there's one believing spouse, right. if there's just one believing spouse, then the children are holy and set yeah. apart for God. Mm -hmm. And I'm holding on to that promise. <laughs> so Isaiah 49, 25, for I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. Okay, he's going to fight against those who fight against us. And again, we join in. God allows us the privilege of joining in with that fight. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness. Mm. And so God just allows us the privilege of joining in with that. And we know he wins because he contends with those who contend against us. And he promises he will save our children. So I love that. I love, I love this. So we thank you, God. Um, so I wanted to go quickly to the, the Canaanite woman, Matthew 15, 22 through 28. This is such an important story, and I've always wanted to, like, understand it, and God has given me uh, a little bit of understanding about it. And it says here, uh, verse 22, Matthew 15, 22 through 28. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered, Jesus answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered, Jesus answered and said, it is not meat, excuse me, it's not right to take the children's red and cast it to dogs. And she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. <laughs> Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Oh, yeah. oh, that's an inter interesting scripture, the crumbs. So Eva <laughs> eats of the crumbs off the ground that I drop on the Right. Pets eat crumbs. And that, oh, so, so I, so I want to just look at this scripture because I wrote down some notes as I was, as, as I've been studying this. And number one, the Canaanite woman pleaded for mercy. And believe mm. me, she went to the right person. She knew who to go to. Right. Because number two, she recognized who Jesus was. She called him the son of David. So the Jews were promised a Messiah that would come from the descendants of this, uh, who would be a descendant of the son of David. Mm -hmm. So she knew, <clears throat> she knew right. who he was and the son of David was the Messiah. <laughs> she knew that he was the Messiah and that he Hallelujah. was the savior. Hallelujah. That's first of all. All right. So she recognized who Jesus was because she believed in him to be the Messiah and the Savior. And that's why she went to him. Thank God she went to the right person. And she felt she felt confident she could go to him with her request. She felt confident. Uh, guys, a lot of us don't feel confident in going to God. And well, we a lot should of us are feel scared confident. or we're embarrassed or we're. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, you know, we're challenged in our humanism. I mean, that's really the case here. But she... Yes, but wow. she yeah. felt she could go. Awesome. You know, and, and, awesome. and she was fighting for her child, yep. fighting for her daughter, and man. <laughs> so, so, oh, so another thing I wanted to say is that she spiritually 
and correctly assessed the situation with her daughter. She said, my daughter is grievously vexed mm. with a devil. Guys, this is, in other words, my daughter has mental illness. My daughter is right. hooked on drugs. Right. My son or my daughter are sexually immoral. My son or my daughter are, are you know, I mean, just all sorts of things that kids are into. And um, they've been led there, again, by the spirit of this world. So she didn't sugarcoat or lie to save face. So I love that yeah. about this woman. She didn't, she didn't be like, oh, no, my daughter is <clears throat> so nice. serving the Lord. You know, she's, she didn't sugarcoat. She just told Jesus like it is. And we have to come to him very honestly. You know, and again, if we feel like we cannot go to the Lord with these requests, then all we have to do, um, so there's some sort of something getting in between, and all we have to do is go to him for forgiveness, and that will break that barrier between you and the Lord, because the only thing that gets between you and God is our, our sin or our iniquity. So if we're fighting for our children to be delivered from sin and iniquity, we first have to be delivered from sin and iniquity, okay? And we can easily do that by repenting and believing the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and uh, how do you say, renewing our relationship with him. And then we will feel confident in going to him. So number four, she didn't give up and she didn't take no for an answer. Now, there's times that we have to take no for an answer. But, guys, this was within God's will. I believe that this is within God's will. And so whatever is within God's will, we have, we have a, a, a right to. Because God has given us his promises. So number five, even though his disciples tried to turn her away. Again, because here's the thing. Um, Gentiles were, cons were considered dogs, okay? But that's not actually what he called her, all right? But even when the disciples tried to turn her away, she continued to worship him. She, she worshiped him. Again, because worship is bowing down. So, guys, she was already obeying the Lord. Jesus was her Savior, even though she was a Gentile, hmm. okay? She continued to worship him and plead for help. So now this is the thing, is that Jesus was not calling her a dog. He was not insulting her. Here's what happened. Jesus ex was explaining to her that he was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which this is true, okay? And called her, what he called her was a little dog or a puppy, mm. okay? If you look at that translation in the Strong's Concordance, it says little dog or a puppy, a pet, okay? And so what he was meaning to say was, okay, it's not right. I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel because they had been led astray. Right. They were caught up in Baal worship, mm -hmm. and they went away from the Lord, and Jesus was trying to redeem them, get them back, you know, out of the hands of Satan. And that was his mission, yeah. you know? That was his particular, what God the Father sent him to do. So it wasn't so, an insult. Mm -hmm. It wasn't mm -hmm. an insult. It's like that little joke that your father tells, how long were you, have you been a dog? Ever since I was a little puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So, um, yeah, so, so instead of being insulted or offended, she just kept on. Right. She, she was persistent. Didn't, she just, yeah, she was persistent. Um, she decided to, so you know what, guys? Here's the thing. She decided to settle because it says here, um, G, um, Jesus said it's not right to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And she says truth. Yes, that's right. I know you came for your people, Israel. I know you came out of Israel and came for Israel. But she says, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. In, in, in other words, the pets. You know, whatever, like if you sit down at the table and you're a little boy 
and you didn't want something, what happened to it? And your dog was nearby. Hello. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you know, everybody thinks that yeah. you know, Jesus was a nice prophet. You know, <laughs> G- she recognized that he wasn't just a prophet. That's he right. was the son of man. That's right. He was the savior of the world. Yes. She recognized She recognized that. that. That's why she got the results mm-hmm. she got. And I'm telling you, that's why the world today don't recognize Jesus as the Messiah. Yes, that's right. His own people right? don't recognize him today. Right? And that's why Jesus came for the lost yeah. sheep of the house of Israel. But then it all kind of turned away and mm-hmm. it's become, uh, how do you say, um, you know, Apostle Paul was sent to the Gentiles. Mm-hmm. So, so instead of being insulted, she, she, she kept on. And, and basically she was like, you know what? I'll, I'll settle for whatever he has to give me. I'll, I'll just settle, you know? As I'm reading and reading, I'm like, you know what? She's like, I'll, I'll take what you got. I don't care what it is. So because whatever he has to give is still better than anything the world has to offer. Mm-hmm. She said, I'll take the crumbs of the kingdom of God than the feasts of this world. And I feel the same way. Mm-hmm. But here it is, in settling for the leftovers that the children of Israel didn't want because they didn't want their meal. Wow. They wouldn't, because Jesus is the bread of life. He was talking That's about right. himself. Mm-hmm. He was speaking about himself. So in settling for the leftovers, what the children of Israel didn't want, she ended up receiving everything. Hallelujah. She ended up receiving everything. So this is, again, this is a prophetic. This is prophetic because they, it, after that time, it be, it's, we're now in the times of the Gentiles, um, of the times of the Gentiles being fulfilled, again, in Gentiles coming into the kingdom of God. And this was actual, wow. actuality wow. through his beloved disciple and apostle Paul. Mm-hmm. So Acts 13, 46, just to prove this to you, Acts 13, 46, then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, it is necessary that the word of God should have been spoken to you, should first have been spoken to you, again, Jews and in in Israel and Israelites, but seeing ye put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy to everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. So again, what they turned away is, was, was a treasure for her because she did recognize him as the Messiah, That's the right. true Messiah, which he is. So Israel, again, rejects their savior. So now the gospel goes to the Gentiles. She was a Gentile. And that's why the disciples said, no, leave us alone. You know, we got our own thing going here. So um, they rejected his, uh, Jesus's meal, which Jesus is the meal. He's the bread of life. So the Canaanite woman received it instead. The children, um, the children of Israel didn't want their meal and gave it to the dogs, gave it to the pets, their pets. Um, she didn't wow. just get the crumbs, guys. She got the whole meal. She got what she she yeah. got the what she was asking yeah. for. She got the salad and the full meal and everything. the dessert and everything else. That's right. Because she was persistent with God. Amen. Amen. And she knew he was God. Amen. That, see, we have to see the Bible says, you shall know the truth then the truth yeah. will make you free. If you don't know him, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't yeah. know that he's the savior, you will never be free. That's why Israel is not free because of their lack of understanding of who Jesus Christ is. <laughs> he is yeah. the savior. Sorry, people. Sorry to break it to you. He's already come. And when he comes back again, right. oof, man, yeah, man. yeah. So also, I want to note that her daughter was not there physically. Yeah. But the daughter was not physically there. Jesus didn't lay hands on her. Didn't he? Didn't even say right. that he laid hands on the woman. Right. 
and her daughter, just by Jesus' word, she was made whole in that very hour, probably in that very moment in which he said, oh, wow. woman, great is thy faith, because he was amazed. He was amazed. He was like, this is exactly right. This is exactly right. Because, I mean, I, I just wonder if she even knew that that, that that gospel was going to be passed on to the Gentiles as well. You know, I wonder. I don't even know. So, wow. so Jesus is blown away by her faith, gives her what she wants. And what she wants also happens to be his will because Jesus is willing that none should perish, perish. but yeah. that all may be saved, Jews and right. Gentiles. Jews and Gentiles, correct. That's right. Everybody. Everybody, everybody. Every, anybody yeah. and everybody who's breathing air on this earth today can mm. repent and get saved. That's Everyone. Right. There's not a, a living being alive that cannot, that, that, that will not uh, be saved if they acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord. That's, That's right. It. Amen. Amen. So, so here are some things I was like, oh my gosh, how do I pray? How do I pray? <laughs> for my children? How do I pray for other people's children? How do I pray for unbelievers? Mm. Guys, this is the, the foremost thing in our minds and in our hearts. And you know what? This, it's God's heart for, for people to be saved. We live in the most dangerous world now. And I'm really just talking spiritually. Where and it's not going to get better. is leading people. Nope. That's right. To to the devourer, yeah. you know, and and to, to hell. He's and, leading them. He is the devourer. And guys, <clears throat> we've got to be cognizant and we have to be aware of where we're going. You know, we have to really pay attention to our our our, our eternity, especially in the times that we're living, because we are living in times that are going to get more desperate, yeah, more peril. More, and, I, and I'm not, it's not, here it is. A prophet tells you and warns you of things to come, but the hope is that Jesus is who he says he is, okay? So our hope is in him, okay? Our hope is not in, can the world fix itself? No, it can't. Mm -mm. It will not fix itself because the enemy has come in attack mode. In churches, we got to wake up, wake up, and let the, warn the people of these fake churches and warn them of the world. Yeah. Satan promises peace in this world. Oh, yeah. There is world no peace, peace in this world. He promises world peace, but God promises peace in our hearts. Everlasting. When, when we're reconciled with the God of peace. That's right, because so he is that's peace. totally different. So one is yeah. false, yep. false right. security, and the other one is True security. Which so, one do you want? I mean, you know what? You can make a choice. You know, I say, look, yeah. you know, if you want to risk your eternity, because we don't last long here on earth, okay? So, I mean, you know it in your own families. They, people die. That's what's going to happen. So, yeah. all that being said, when you die, where are you going to be? Do you want to just think that there's nothing or... Or do you want to believe in an everlasting life with Jesus and peace? And, and, I, and, I, and I gave a testimony of how I died and went to heaven. I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with every ounce of my being, of anything that I've ever experienced in my entire life. I can tell you that experience was life changing forever. It's like you were right at the door. Right like there. God gave you just a glimpse. Just a little <laughs> glimpse. And it's That's like awesome. if, I'm telling you Veronica. <laughs> when you were a child. Yeah. When you were 16 years old. Right. And if you, yeah. and if you are Amen. and if that's just a glimpse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's another good thing to And I to wasn't pray even a Christian. Children. I wasn't even a confessing Christian. Believing yeah. in Christ. He gave me that opportunity. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and I promise yeah, you. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's a, a, pr a good prayer is like to show somebody, open their eyes to where they're going if they don't repent, uh, but also give them a glimpse of heaven where they could be if they do make, you know, reconcile Again, with the Lord. See, I call it a life experience because when we die, 
either we die and we go to hell or we die and we live. Is your soul going to live with Christ? Or we're, is it like, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ, Jesus is, Christ Lord. is Lord. Either going on your way to heaven or in your way to hell. There is no in between. It's not going to just turn black. Then why get up tomorrow? Why be excited about getting up tomorrow if there's nothing after this? There's, yeah. I mean, Amen. come on, guys. Amen. So here is just some things that I was like, God, how, how do we pray? How do we pray for unbelievers? How do we pray for our children? So here's one thing um, this is from the Word of God. Pray their eyes be opened and their ears to hear. Jesus mm. talks about, let he who has ears, let him hear. So pray that God gives them ears to hear and pray that their eyes would be open. When Apostle Paul um, had that road, road to Damascus experience, um, he was blinded. But when he, um, but oh, I forgot the gentleman that prayed for him. But anyway, the scales came off his eyes and he was able to see again. So God sometimes makes us blind so that we can see, you yeah. know, but the scales fall off our eyes and we're able to see the world as it truly is. Well, and a lot of times, Veronica, a lot of people listen, but they don't hear. Oh, I know. I, I mean, know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I I'm that way. I was that way for many years. I would listen, but I didn't hear. See, Jesus is talking about hearing by the Spirit, okay, being having an understanding of what you hear. Not just listening, but have understanding, understanding. of it. Understanding. Because once you get understanding, you get it all. That's it. That's what hearing means when Jesus mm -hmm. said, like, he who has ears, mm -hmm. ears let him hear, mm -hmm. meaning understand Amen. and do the right thing with the information they've been given. Amen. Guys, we're giving you good information good stuff. today. So Acts 28, 28, um, be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles and that they will hear it. So there's a special promise to the Gentiles right now in this time and age and it says that they will hear it. So that's another promise from God that the Gentiles mm -hmm. will hear and believe. That's, his, that's why most believers in Christ, yeah. most, not all, but most are Gentiles because this is the time that we're in, you know, and God in, in his infinite mercy, just mm -hmm. like that Canaanite woman, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she recognized him as, as savior. And he was like, okay, here, ha I'm going to give you what you want. You know, I'm going to save your daughter. Amen. So, um, number two, ask God to send preachers of the gospel because our children will not always receive from us. Our wives, our, our wife or our husband will not always receive from us. Our family members will not always receive True. the gospel of Jesus True. Christ from us, from that's people right. who are close to them. Um, you know, that's what we've experienced. So I mean, I hope, <laughs> I hope it would be that. They, they would listen and yeah. hear what we're saying because what we're giving is truth. That's and, right. And, and really, guys, that's all we have. Romans ten fourteen. How then shall they call on him in whom they, ha in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they, excuse me, how shall they hear without a preacher? So there needs to be preachers of the gospel. And God yeah. has ordained all of us, and there's some great commanded men. all of yeah. us to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. But again, you know, when your family members don't listen to you, you know, ask God to send preachers, Yeah. you know, maybe people their age, maybe, you know, whatever, somebody that they respect, you know, but preachers of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. So something that we can, another thing we can pray. Another thing you can pray is, uh, and I love this scripture, it's Hebrews 1.14. Um, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? So ask God to send ministering spirits mm -hmm. of salvation. That's what they're called in 
Hebrews 1.14, ministering spirits to those who will inherit salvation, you know, to minister to them, okay? So that's God himself ministering um, through his spirit. That's something that happened to me. Somebody must have prayed for me. I don't know who it was, but, but ministering spirits, because I wasn't saved through the preaching of the gospel per se, I was saved through uh, actually gospel music, but I know God was speaking to me. God, not really even the music, but God, in spite of the music, <laughs> was right. ministering salvation to me. And he and I saw a clear cut, um, you know, two roads and, and the Lord showed me, okay, you know, if you keep on going on this road that you're going to keep on going on this path, this is going to end, not going to end well. This is going to end in destruction. But if you come here, you change your direction and you go the other way and you serve me, then, you know what I'm saying? You're going to you be know, saved. Veronica, it's funny. So, I, was, I was just thinking about that. Because <clears throat> when I first heard Veronica sing at Berkeley College of Music, I said, this girl, you're going to hear about her. I just knew it. I just knew as I was sitting there listening to her, saying that she didn't know me, yet I didn't know her. I heard her sing live, and I, I was like, whoa, this girl is going to be. And then years later, when we signed our gospel deal, I figured, well, this is part of that, but it really wasn't because the world was trying to pull us in. As we were part of this Christian, false Christian music scene, the world recognized us for who for what I recognize Veronica was in the world. And we actually were in Capitol Records in New York, and they were trying to sign us. And, and, and we were already signed with a Christian label. So we were being pulled, okay? And Veronica, I will never forget it. She said, no. She didn't want, in other words, the, the, the person was asking, this most powerful person in the music industry, I'm telling you, and and he was promising us this and that. And believe me, it's very hard to hear what you've been trained for all your life to sing and to perform. And then when somebody's given you a, 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 a plethora of, 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 it's almost like what Satan did yeah, to Jesus. And this is what's happening. He said, I'm good, I'll give you all of this to yeah. Jesus. Excuse me? Just bow down and worship. Baby. Just bow yeah. down and worship. Because that's what we would have had to do to bow down to worship. So this is what... Right? the world and Satan is doing to our children. That's right. He's promising them That's right. these empty promises. Right. And um, then to steal yeah, their soul at the will, end of it. And is trying to devour their souls. That's right. But we're not going to let him. Guys, mm -mm. we're going to pray. We're going to rise up as the church. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in this world. And God has given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power all. of the enemy. Jesus Not was some. manifested to destroy right. all, all the works of the devil. Amen. So I want to pray. Um, you can, you can go first and then I'm going to finish cause I have some, so this, this you, special you, prayer that, that the Lord gave you me. You want me to pray? So yeah, I want you to pray and then I'm going to you have a couple right, hours right here um <laughs> no i don't think we have i don't think you have a couple hours so father god i just go thank work. you lord hallelujah yes, father we just god. thank you for this time father god thank you for changing us thank you lord for giving us eyes to see and ears to hear thank you lord that we're here today and we're presenting this to your children lord to those who will listen and hear and Father God, I ask God that you take the scales off their eyes yes, and take the earplugs out of their ears, mm. their earbuds yeah. out of their ears Amen. to hear your truth, to hear your word. That's all we have is your word. You're not a man that you should lie. Yes, God. You will not lie to us. Lord. It's impossible for you to lie. You said it. It's impossible for God to lie. So why would I follow a liar rather than the Messiah? Father God, I come after you with my children. I come after you with, with my brothers and sisters' children right. and their children's children. 
And Father God, I ask, Father God, that you save them. Grant them repentance. Yes. Grant them a reason to live tomorrow. Mm. Give them hope, Father God, that they, they, that, that they have hope in a future that they, can, they, they can't even imagine that, they had, that it was even possible. But you are the God of the impossible. Yes, God. So we thank you, Lord. Yes. We believe it for everyone involved in this world that has ears to hear. And Father God, we lift our children up to you today. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. you know, we dedicated our children to the Lord. We have to remember these moments in which we have dedicated our children to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter the church. It doesn't matter the pastor. It doesn't, it doesn't right. matter. We dedicated in our hearts. We have dedicated our children to the Lord. Many of us have trained up our children in the Lord and God promises that one day they will come back mm. to that training and that path right. that we instilled in them through the word of God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember teaching uh, our son, God did not give you a spirit of fear. He's, we would call it a spirit of spear, <laughs> yeah. spirit of spear. Uh, but uh, a power and of love and of a sound mind. So we pray this prayer by faith um, right now to you today. God, we lift up these children. Uh, again, we ask you to um, open their eyes, give them ears to hear. We ask you to send your preachers of the true gospel of Jesus Christ to yes, them. God. Yes, God. We pray you send your angels right now to minister salvation to them. Like the Canaanite woman, we ask you um, to have mercy upon us mm -hmm. as the parents mm -hmm. of those who are asking for their salvation. Oh God, have mercy first on us. We come to you because of your mercy on us. That's oh right. God, because right. we deserve hell. That's right. Father God, but through your infinite mercy, God, Hallelujah. we ask you, we ask you these things. We pray for these children. <laughs> Oh God, um, adult children, young children, doesn't matter their age. We pray for these children who are under the influence wow. of <clears throat> demons and their friends who are <clears throat> under the same influence of demons who are influencing them. Uh, we command right now those demonic voices speaking to them to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to go through because God has given me um, and showed me these evil spirits that are afflicting mm -hmm. our children and afflicting our world. They might be afflicting you right now. So we're going to come against these spirits. We come against the spirit of jealousy yes, break it. coming through social media and entertainment, break it. comparing themselves to others. That's right. We break jealousy right now and we command spirit of jealousy to go in That's the right. name of Jesus Christ. Mm. We come against the spirit of whoredom and harlotry wow. coming out of pornography, wow. social media, music, movies, mm. sexual immorality. We come against this spirit Curse you. Curse you, of Jesus. whoredom, the Bible. Guys, this is all in the yeah. word of God. These spirits are named all in the word of God, these are true evil spirits that we have authority to command to go in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Set these children and adult children free from pornography right Thank now you, and from sexual immorality and from homosexuality in Jesus' name. We come against unclean spirits that they may have received through things they should not have been involved in. Wow. Father God, More same seen. way you have been merciful to us, you will yeah. be merciful to them. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So, Father, forgive them. Forgive them that's what you prayed, oh God. So we come against lying spirits who oh, lie to them and tell them to hate their parents wow. and to hate God and to wow. hate Christianity. We come against lying spirits that say they are inferior and that they should commit suicide. We come against the anti-Christ spirit, Preaching. which influ again influences them to hate God and to hate 
themselves mm. and to and to hate their gender we come against spirit of come antichrist on. confusion telling them they are not good enough yeah. that's right we come against a spirit of confusion confusion right is not of god it no, does not, not come from god and we it command confusion from the antichrist spirit the to go from to lying that. spirits so we ask that uh you let them embrace their male mm. or female femaleness because yes. God created yes. them male and female. That's right. And we ask that you would s let them see that they are fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. God, that they can see their eyes. Marvelous they can see words, themselves yeah. through your eyes, O oh God. <laughs> that may we look through heaven's eyes. God, let them be delivered from suicidal thoughts right now that tell right them now. to self Harm. That's right. We command you to go that come from Baal worship. Yep. Prophet Elijah came against yep. it. He came against the false prophets and they were yep. cutting themselves. And that spirit still lives yep. on. And we command you to go from our children, the spirit of suicide and self-harm in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be delivered now mm. from suicidal thoughts in Jesus name. We come against familiar spirits mm. coming out of the involvement with the occult. That's right. Not just a Ouija board, but can include a Ouija board, but anything else. It could be horror films. It could be music that is um, satanic. Mm. Um, any kind of music that is satanic. Witchcraft. That's right. Uh, so Hollywood. Yes. Yes, Hollywood, which is deeply involved in the deeply occult. Involved. Yes. Uh, we come against the spirit of divination. This is the spirit that comes from astrology and witchcraft because wow. you must do astrology in order wow. to do witchcraft and you must do drugs also. That's right. So we come against the spirit of Substance divination. Yep. This this rich witchcraft rituals that they mm -hmm. are involved in that they don't even know again what they're doing. Father forgive them. They know not what they do. <sighs> so any witchcraft that they are involved in, we ask you to please forgive them. And we command spirit of divination to go from them in the name of Jesus. Yes. We come against witchcraft, sorcery, and drug use. Mm. Okay? Including marijuana, which they think is so good for them. <laughs> but we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. May they be cut off from their weed, from their drugs. May they be cut off by their drug dealer right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And let them be delivered from drug addiction mm -hmm. now in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of fear that causes mental illnesses yeah. and this lying spirit that causes fear. We come against it right now. The fear of rejection. We come against fear of rejection being rejected by their friends, by yeah. their peers, yeah. that may, the fear of rejection makes them succumb and do, the, do things because their friends want them to. Mm -hmm. We command you to go. Spirit of fear, we command you to go from our children. God did not give them a spirit of fear, but we thank you for giving them a spirit of power and of love and a sound mind that they would be delivered from mental illnesses. Mm. Thank you, God. Break God, down. and lastly, God, we ask you to forgive us That's right. as parents. That's good. God, whatever yes. we us, have Lord. done wrong, whatever, me, Jesus. whatever sins we committed mm -hmm. against our children, we ask you to forgive us. We repent first, oh God. We repent first. First, oh God, and we ask you for forgiveness, and we Hallelujah. thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. that you, you, we are forgiven. Blessed yes. is he whose transgression is forgiven. <clears throat> thank you for thank your you. mercy. So, yes. God, we are asking you, God, to convict yes. our children, convict children of their sins right now, mm. and we thank you through your mercy, grant them repentance and salvation. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above oh, all amen. names. God, you are mighty to save. Hallelujah. We know you can do Hallelujah. it. And we believe yeah. we have received it and we have it. Thank you. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ, our children 
saved, healed, and delivered. Amen.